Hello and welcome back to Stalker Escape from Pripyat. Yes, I did fix the problem. Um, I cleared out the farm. I, it really wasn't a big deal. I just had to uh, wait until daytime or sleep until daytime. Oh, what? What? Are we eating food? Are we eating food, friendo? Are we? We still need food, apparently. Uh, okay, I could eat some raisins. Yummy. Die a storm. Stay sheltered. Oh no. What a what a moment to start recording, huh? Kind of want to like almost wander around in the side storm just to like build up a resistance a little bit, but that would probably be a bad idea. Um, well, I'm gonna drink some water. How are uh, we could probably use a little bit more water? Uh, I am gonna do a pause here. Yes, a minute in because I don't. Oh, this this is this is a, oh there was a radio. Radio on the ground. We could disassemble that. Um, I did look at that other shotgun. I guess I won't pause just yet because I wanted to talk uh, through some stuff. But uh, I didn't um, use that other shotgun, namely because um, it required a magazine. And half the purpose for me of using the shotgun in the first place is that uh, it's you know you, you can you can load it like hand load it basically you don't need a magazine um it makes it makes it a good like kind of you know backup weapon so you don't have to fumble with you know with magazines um and it also the other one required a special magazine it might have been better i'm honestly kind of looking at this taz 66 what there's all some really weird stuff going on outside I'm looking at this Taz. Um, it's only two. It only carries two shots, so it's a bit of an ask. But it does um, considerably more damage. 486 versus 268. I guess it's not that much better. So I don't know. Like everything I see makes me believe that the shotgun I'm using is actually pretty okay. Um, I'm curious uh, if these color. Uh, these 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 colors represent like the gun themselves or I think it just represents the, the, the Position I kept thinking like as I hovered over this like oh orange this this must be a good gun or something But no, it's just the position um, That it's um, You know taking up So never mind um, I do want to get some better weaponry uh, I just don't really know how to go about that yet, and I think it's like going to be a kind of a process. Um, what we can do is like while I'm here, and I know this isn't a very exciting way of starting this whole thing up, is I can sort sort of walk you through how I uh, how I like what I'm doing between episodes. Basically, I take a lot of the ammo that um, you know I I get between you know. In my session, so like the 762 is a good example. Um, generally speaking, ammo will give you adjacent parts for other for the same type of ammo. So like for instance, um, 762 is a rifle um, kind of shell, and therefore it's going to give you it's going to give you casings and like um, powder for making other uh, you know rifle. Uh, <laughs> bullets i don't know like I, i'm very ignorant on the whole thing but it, it stands to reason that like you would only be able to use um you know parts from one kind of ammo to make the same kind of ammo so if you uh disassemble shotgun shells for instance you're gonna get shotgun shell parts and uh, you can use those to make other you know shells for sure but they're still shells similarly if i disassemble nine millimeter um ammo then i would uh you know, I would be able to use it to make 9mm ammo. Um, we've got some 2070. I don't think I can use that. So, like, uh, for instance, I'll go ahead and disassemble that. Mission complete. Stay sheltered. Very good. So, you know, that gives us some uh, casing shotguns. And then, uh, the, so, the, you know, the size storm is done. Your friend. Um, and go back here. And, you know, like I could, you know, if I grabbed my, I'll grab my, my bullet stuff just for a moment, just to, I guess, 
like show this off somewhat but uh you know grab my gunsmithing tools and we can go to craft you don't need to go to the vice in order to use this but then we'll go to ammo and it looks like i only need to read the guide once in order to have that knowledge you don't actually have to hold it i thought you had to have it on your person so knowing that is actually i've actually already learned something from that but like we can look at um so 1270 it tends to be what I use um, for this shotgun, but there's like better. There's this magnum buck, for example, that might be better, right? We could make some magnum bucks. So you can see the, you know, shot, pistol shotgun, propellant that I'm using, the lead shot, and then I need some more um, casings. I thought I had enough casings. Have I not been disassembling very many, uh, very much shotgun ammo? I guess not. I guess, uh, you know, that's something I can work on. Um, you know, I do, I would, like, I, like I said, you know, the next, um, logical step isn't just like being able to replace the ammo that we have, but also to make better ammo. So like, for instance, this Varmageddon, um, is supposed to be pretty good. And we can see it defeats armor level, um, 2A, uh, I think deals bonus damage to mutants. So this is like just a overall better, uh, ammo type and but I, I have I don't like I've recently spent all of my ammo parts my my AR casings um, So I don't have enough parts to make that um, So I go ahead and you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and dump everything in there and I'm gonna dump the nine millimeter in there I think a, a good habit is rather than like disassembling all of your ammo um like as soon as you get it, like, or as soon as I return back here to base is I let it accumulate for a little while so that I don't have to keep like, seriously, the animation for batch disassembling, you already saw it, um, is just kind of a pain. It's just, it, it's, it's quite long. Um, and doing that a lot, uh, eventually wears on my brain. So, uh, then I, you know, for these things, I go ahead and anything over like 60%, I tend to throw into our box um and then if there's a lot of duplicates then i'll be a little bit picky choosy but as long as i'm here i may as well throw them in there and uh like it's better to have one than i guess like you know i guess it's better to have a low condition one than to have nothing so you know i'll keep it um and then i'll i'll sell anything less and then eventually like every once in a while i'll go through my stuff and maybe clean up some parts that uh no longer kind of fit with my criteria um we'll throw in this radio as well that'll be good for disassembling later the radios and walkie talkies and flashlights and stuff like that they are actually parts for building um stuff but also you can disassemble them and then you'll get more like commonplace parts that you need to for for building Change things build. so like for instance um in order to make my bear detector i needed like uh i forget what it was called resistors and um cap capacitors i'm pretty sure i think and uh a lot of those i was able to get from disassembling flashlights and stuff but when i wanted to make my headlamp i needed a couple of broken flashlights in order to make that um our swiss knife is very close to being dead so i'm gonna go ahead and buy ourselves a sharpening stone i think i I think I will need that. I don't I don't think I have one in progress right now. I'll sell this uh magazine. I don't really care about uh maintaining that. So we can use the sharpening stone. Oh, I guess um I guess my Swiss Army knife is like close enough to being broken that it, it can't really be repaired. We'll go ahead and drop these things that couldn't be sold. I'll go to this guy. He'll buy my, um, well, I guess he won't buy my Swiss army knife, but he will buy or uh, sell me a, another Swiss army knife. Do we have, oh, we have three FX. Oh, that's right. We got some of those from, um, some kind of cash. So I'm going to go ahead and buy that. We actually, we're starting to accumulate some money, which is nice. I did finally open. I know that probably someone out there um, was annoyed at the fact that I was holding on to like legitimate military rations and not opening them. I didn't really understand. I thought that was like one meal, but it turns out that that was actually 
a package of food. Um, I, I have no regrets. Oops, didn't mean to turn it off again. Uh, I have no regrets because I, um, wanted to... I, I want to eat the, the, the mutant meat whenever I can. Um, we, we are going to use the fire, but I like to check to see if we can't make purified stuff first. So, like, for instance, if we have this Nemiroff, then instead of making, um, boar chops stewed, we can make boar chops ster uh, purified. Um, and I think overall it's a good idea to do that because the Nemiroff vodka is very much renewable. It, it you just kind of end up with it. Like, it, you either get it from completing quests or you find it off bandit bodies um or you know like it just it, you just kind of accumulate it um i will say cooking like actually cooking food in this game is a little bit of a pain it's actually way easier just to roast everything but i think if you want to play things properly you're gonna want to um actually properly cook things because it means that you're not gonna you're not gonna be poisoning yourself when you eat eat the food um so it's showing that we can't make any more. That's not because we are out of ingredients. It's actually because we're out of fuel. So I'm going to go ahead and buy some fuel. I'm pretty sure this guy will sell us some. Yes, he will. He'll sell us some charcoal. I'm not sure what is more cost effective. I think maybe the kerosene. This is uses four and this is uses six. So no, actually the charcoal is, is more cost effective. At least it seems like it. So now if we go back to this, we can see we can still make some more stuff. We can cook this dog meat. And I mean, I think it's like food is one of those things. It's just better if you have um, have it in surplus. Like you really don't want to be caught with your pants down out in the middle of, the no of nowhere without any food or water. Water you can kind of semi get away with maybe um, because I think buying water is actually not an awful thing like making water is certainly way cheaper oh no oh god please don't shoot me while i'm cooking my food oh god i can't move Uh, you know, it's it's the zone. These things happen. Oh, that better not be military. Okay, thank God it's a bandit. It's okay. Also, I didn't uh, chop up this flesh. Do we have... Oh, we actually got some more food from that, so now we're going to spend a bit more time. Uh, I, I promise I, I, I generally do all of my... Um, cooking between episodes. Okay, so since we don't have anything for purifying this meat, we may as well roast it because it's going to save us a bit of time. And like I said, um, you know, it's okay if we have a little bit of toxic food. I, I prefer to purify it because I think it, overall it's just a, you know, going to save us a bit of time and effort. Because, you know, um, I, I am lucky. I've, I've got this bracelet. But, um, yeah. So... Mm -hmm. I was doing a little bit of looking up. This is something I'm going to have to learn. Like, the, uh, it's hard to explain this, but m the backlog of episodes for, um, you know, for Stalker is quite extensive at this point. So, like, if you're leaving comments, they're not going to have... They, they will probably not have had any impact on this series um, for a long time and you know that's it's unfortunate but it's just kind of the way things worked out I really wanted to make sure that I wanted to do this series before you know actually doing it um, but I've been learning something here and there about transmutation it's a very strange concept but it, it seems to me like you can sort of semi make um, your own artifacts which is such an unusual idea to me um i don't really know how it works and i'm gonna have to look up a guide on it maybe but i think the bear detector is actually able to do that um but 
uh, sort of semi like you see it says transmutation module not installed we're gonna need a transmutation module um how one makes one or refines one i'm not quite sure just yet but we'll get there um you know i i'm learning something new almost every single session and um so eventually we'll get to a point where like i actually understand how to how most of the systems work in this game okay so now that i've like pretty much um you know spent 15 minutes bumbling through uh inventory management and making food and all kinds of stuff as long as i can tutorialize a little bit then you know it's not wasted let's go to the vehicle graveyard i'm pretty sure i have a quest there let's uh let's maybe try and get some actual tasks done there's the lost signal i have been tasked by, by clear sky stalker to trace his missing squad to find out what happened to them i should head over to the truck cemetery and that's this right no that's the vehicle graveyard um where is the truck cemetery vehicle station contract kill well i should do that i don't know where this cemetery is farmstead i guess it could be one of these trash compactor anomaly tunnel with electro rookie eater um volt anomaly mauler molten lada anomaly slammer hmm train hanger push pulley anomaly flea market checkpoint by rostock um i'm really not sure where this where is this uh truck cemetery it might be that it's a place i haven't like gone to yet so let's do this contract kill how about that um these uh like markers are oh yeah okay we can actually turn those off that that's going to make things a little bit easier for me because then i can fast travel oh okay I, I, that's a very bizarre aspect of this game, but you can just fast travel and f like appear right in front of a bad guy. I think it, like clearly the game is um, keeping the entire area loaded as an instance. Um, Cause like, otherwise how would I be able to automatically transport like that? that that's just like, it's too quick for it to, to have not been loaded. So, um, oh. Okay, this lad is moving. He on the move. Oh. Alright, that's our contract done go and loot his body and then turn it in like i said we're probably going to be sandboxing a little bit um you know just kind of doing some quests where we can and if we can find a better weapon then that's ideal um if we can find um the means to make some better weapons or upgrade kits or stuff like that then that's ideal as well um but generally speaking i, I want to like you know i want to i want to see improvement in our gear some good parts there um all right so what's next do a quick save uh i'm pretty sure so this is vehicle station this is contract killer i've agreed to remove a thorn from sidravik's side once i'm done should return for my reward all right let's go do that then i i have apparently taken a quite a lot of quests that um oh god Okay, let's uh, fix up my legs. That was very silly of me. And then, pretty sure, so I'm pretty sure if I heal up my legs like that and then take a health kit, it will actually, yeah, it'll, it'll fully repair. So if you use your health kits wisely, then, um, you can you can permanently heal yourself i say permanently heal but like you know what i mean um the the red 
health that you give lend to your legs and arms is purely temporary. We've got a doggo here. Unfortunately, dogs tend to hang out in groups. So I'm a little bit worried that we're going to get beset by a lot of lads. He doesn't seem to have noticed me, so that's nice. Pretty sure we have to head in that direction, though. No, we have to go southeast. Wait a minute. Uh, oh, this is the hand in. Right. Okay, never mind. Um, this is the rookie village. Let's go there. Can we? There we go. That's such a. That's so surreal. Like, it, I'm not gonna get used to that. But like, being able to like instantly blink like that is kind of odd. Our, uh, we are very hungry. This is, uh, you know, what fast travel does. Fast travel doesn't, um, like, change how much, like, it still takes up time and it still is aware on your resources. Um, so I think that it's, it's you know, for the purposes of just making things more entertaining, I'm, I'm using fast travel. Um, this job is done. Not close to 9,800. I received new stash coordinates, so that's another thing I have to go check out. Is there work to be done? Uh, one stalker was supposed to bring me some spe special supplies from another trader, but I haven't heard anything from him for days. As first, at first I thought he just ran away with his stuff, but he hasn't hidden it, his location and didn't move for a while either. Maybe he just lost his PDA or even got killed. Someone to go there and check what happened. If he died by chance, still got the stuff, bring it back. Okay. Um, we could do some stuff in Agriprom. Is there any work you want done? Oh yeah, bandit patches. Perfect. I love bandit patches because I already have all of the ba bandit patches anything else no you're you're good what can you tell me purchase info on hidden routes truck cemetery oh so there is um there's a path from rostock to the truck cemetery so apparently truck cemetery is a location not just like an area of on the map um that's good to know where's rostock Rostock is there. So, okay, that's garbage. Army warehouse. Ross. Oh, to Rostock. To Yantar. What is this? Ah, truck cemetery is here. Um, I'll, I don't really want to go there yet. There's the Dark Valley. I've been to the Dark Valley in other Stalker games. Um, but not in this one. Find a Taz 34 Bison and ammunition for Hip's client. Um, all right, well, let's... We could fast travel to the factory. Um, but... The, the problem with that is it's already almost nighttime now. And something that concerns me is, like, I don't know what we're going to be looking at in terms of, like even if i eat and go to sleep now um i'm not sure like you know I, I i won't be able to sleep there is what i'm saying um i have a couple things i need to accomplish in agriprom um there's still a stash i need to collect um there's a, a rf stash i need to collect there is now a quest for me to accomplish there so you know there's a few things to do Oh, free radio. Awesome. And a, and a ball peen hammer. Probably shouldn't take that, but whatever. Radio is valuable. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll sleep until morning. Yeah. Oh, okay. We're actually like very close to the nighttime, so we won't get that much sleep. So let's sleep until like just barely dawn then we'll we'll eat our food we'll eat some food an emission just happened which is great because we know it happened in like the last three hours um we'll eat some food and we're gonna head over to agriprom it might be that um doing stuff at nighttime is actually easier in some ways i'm probably wrong about that but like um, I have to imagine that 
it's harder for as long as they're not military because the military might have night vision but um like it would be it has to be easier to stealth at night time oh, we're almost out of water That's okay. Like I said, we have uh, we have water stashed at um, mutant, the mutant hunter. So we could go to Agroprom, and then, um, and then go to uh, the mutant hunter, and get ourselves some water there. It's it's pretty close by. Um, yeah. In fact, it's like right there. So let's go fast travel to factory. And it's probably going to be around midday by the time we get there. Uh, I'll do a quick pause here so that you don't have to watch, uh, wait through the loading screen. Okay, I've actually never been here before. So I'm a little bit curious as to where I am. Are those, these are stalkers, yes? Freedom. Freedom is fine. We like freedom. Okay, so there's some gunfire going on. Now the first thing I have to accomplish is uh, there's something I have to collect on the north side of Agriprom. Uh, I'd like to do that first. I don't really want to go underground, even to save me like traveling. I'd rather try to like desperately to avoid the military on the surface than trying to like running away from mutants and, and horrible creatures underground like you know both both of these are not great options but um one of them like one of them is anxiety inducing and one of them is stressful i'd rather take the stressful option than the anxiety inducing one now i wonder if uh Article, article unlocks anomalies liquid gold. Interesting. Eventually I'm going to learn how this stuff works. Used for detecting most artifacts, moderate electrical power consumption. Okay, we're gonna we're going north, uh, and we are we're a little bit hungry. We'll eat our chocolate bar. That's, that is some gross mouth sounds, I have to say. Oh, and we didn't even eat the whole chocolate bar, and I don't think we even recovered our uh, health, our our food consumption. Mm -hmm. Some interesting lighting glitches going on over there. I think one of the reasons that my shotgun is doing so little damage is I'm using like... Absolutely god-awful ammo in it. Tuesday, uh, you know, like... It, it, um, I, I really haven't addressed that and I'm sure a lot of people are going to let me know about that. It's like, hey, you're using like a buckshot. It doesn't do a lot of damage and it also doesn't pen um, armor at all. So generally speaking, it's, it's like not good. Okay, so um, we're looking for, let me look at my log. Radio messages. Don't forget. They always tell me, don't forget about. Okay, yeah, there is. Don't forget about a package in the northern region of Agroprom. Fre frequency is 127. So let's equip our RF. Oh, it's already there. Nice. I heard a beep. I might be running away from it. Okay. Oh 
don't know if I've done this on camera yet. Okay, so we're running away from it again. It might be north on this side. No, I think it's probably not quite this north. Yeah, so it's actually a little bit south. Okay, so we're getting we're getting closer. Is that a tunnel? Okay, so we know we're he we know we're headed away from it now. Let's try going west on this. Ooh. Those bad guys? No, they're good guys. Aha, we're getting closer. Uh, that looks like a r truly horrible creature over there. I don't think that is a flesh or a boar. What is that? Something I don't want to interact with at all. Okay, near this tree. I must be, I must be very close. Uh, I know I'm, I'm very close. Maybe it's like on this rock or something. Ah, I found it. Watch the stalker shooting a dog in Agroprom, southwest of the Anomaly Hill. I'm worried about them shooting military because then that will actually bring the wrath of God. Can be found somewhere in the southern region of the Cordon. Use an RF detector. So they just like, they, they're just giving me more packages as i find them i don't know what i found it might be in yeah here it is it's in a package here so let's do a quick save and i'm gonna i don't know maybe i'll maybe i will go interact with whatever that creature was i'm gonna go ahead and eat some food I'm a little bit worried about our water situation i won't lie Oh, we do have a uh, we do have some energy drinks. Okay. Well, I know what the, the you know what what is the the question is what are we doing here? Um, we've got a couple things we need to accomplish around here. Recover Sidrovic's shipment. There's a stash inside the military base, so that's probably never going to happen. Um, so why don't we make moves? We can go maybe around the base. And just hope to God that we don't encounter anything. I know I'm... We're, we're listening to gunfire, so... I'm hoping as long as we're not in contact with the military that helicopter won't pay us any mind but i've been wrong before 
North of the anomaly, our squad is under attack by a group of fractures. Not sure what it means by that. Is that the sun setting? No, it's it's still it's rising. Not sure if they're I might actually have to go underground. Okay, that's a friend. How close am I? Okay, we want to go away from here. Let's go west. I do kind of wish that NPCs were affected by anomalies. I mean, it's a two, two uh, double-edged sword because on one hand, them not being affected by anomalies means that um our friendlies aren't affected by anomalies and that's kind of nice because then i don't have to take i can actually take escort missions are you coming over here sidrovic really did give us a nasty job didn't he Okay. It's definitely shooting at us now. It's a good thing I'm like well fed and and uh, I'm not carrying a lot because it means I can run forever basically. Very strange that they would put a stash in there. There's no way I can get that. I don't know. I don't. There's like, like, I have no idea how I'd stealth my way all the way through that base in the far corner. And like, what could they possibly give me that would make that worth it? You know? Okay, well, we didn't get shot. So that is very good. I do really like it when I'm in a position where I, I can run without losing any endurance. I guess like I over time you do actually um, accumulate skill points in in running. Like you get endurance, and you get uh, you know like you you get stronger. Um, you actually you you um, get more endurance from running without carrying a lot. So like when you're on the low end of your carrying capacity. Um, and then you gain strength um, for carrying more stuff by obviously carrying a lot of stuff. Um, and that actually makes a lot of sense to me. And it's it's kind of neat because it encourages you to, to do both. It's a good idea to, to travel light. And then when you have the stuff, you should carry the stuff, you know? I hate that this helicopter is like right here because it's exactly where I need to go in order to complete this quest. It's it, like literally exactly there. Oh my God, really? Okay, well. Yeah. I, I truly hate the helicopter as a concept. I can't honestly imagine it, uh, imagine the helicopter being done correctly. Like, how how would you fix the helicopter in this game? It's just this omnipotent force that you can't get rid of, and you you just have to deal with it. and And it can see you no matter what. You can't stealth around it, and it pretty much kills you like immediately. I just uh, I really don't like it. Um, and it's headed towards me right now. Uh. 
someone else shooting at me? This might be a bad save. Uh, I'm gonna, I am gonna load that. I'm gonna try again. Okay. Um, let's get to the trees. How about that? see it i'm gonna save this is actually a better position than i was in previously i if you're wondering how i'm doing this i i don't know it's pure luck honestly <laughs> what a stupid stupid mechanic there's nowhere I can go now, right? Okay, this is actually kind of working. I have no idea where the helicopter is. Wonder if I can climb this thing. Well, we're actually home free. I, I accomplished the goal and also got away with it. So let's not push our luck. I'm hoping I can like get far enough away from all of this that I can fast travel um, to mutant. Oh God, it's right there. Why is it right there? Okay, okay. All right, well, you know what? That, that was, that was good. Um, can we go, can we? Yes, fast travel, nice. Okay, actually kind of found a method for the stupid helicopter. Trees are your friend. Makes sense, I guess. Okay, and this place is not complete. Oh, oh, almost. I think I spoke too soon. Maybe I was gonna say overrun with bandits like last time. Um, let's grab our water and maybe a bit of food. Eh, we're good for food, actually. I could grab some of my extra junk here. I only left it there because I was completely over encumbered. Hello, friend. Um, do you have anything you could uh, buy from me? It doesn't look like it. We should buy a serve at some point. That's supposed to be like really good. Weapon mechanism upgrade kit advance. Honestly tempting. Um, I don't know. Do you have anything? You don't. I'm looking for a suppressor uh, at some point for our stuff. Do we need? Do we probably need to resupply our bandages. We're actually okay for bandages. I could maybe use a couple more of these. But uh, I'm actually amazed to see that we're, we're, we're okay. Anything you want done, come air horn. You can, you can absolutely take off with any of this stuff. Pseudo dog fur, bloodsucker jaw, nothing. I don't like any of that. Hello. Hello, there's another mutant uh, here to say hello. Um, okay, now that we've accomplished that, there is a stash across the street. Let's go do that. And, um, this, apparently this place is not one I want to hang around. We'll, we'll go get that stash. We'll do a couple of things that, uh, you know, check a couple of boxes in, um... The garbage. 
finally did not say the cordon. Um, and then we'll maybe head back to Cedarvik and hand in his, his nonsense. I love when there's like a pile of an anomalies like this. Oops, this is not our bear detector. And then you'll just see like a couple of giblets on the ground. Oh God, there's just like gunfire everywhere, isn't there? Okay, what are we looking for? Okay, we're going around this trash pile. Jesus, is there a war being fought? I did see there's like an extra mod that people are playing with that seems kind of interesting um, for this pack called Warfare, which adds dynamic factions that you can kind of like manipulate um, and even like command them um, so that you can like gain territory in the zone and eventually just like, you know, take over the zone. Interesting idea. Oh, the game crashed. Jesus. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay. You know, sometimes it just happens like that. Game crashes occasionally. Hasn't crashed too often. It crashing at all is obviously not desirable, but, um, you know, more desirable uh, is it crashing less than i don't know listen I don't, I don't know you know i don't know maybe you can tell what i'm saying like it crashes a tolerable amount is what i'm saying <laughs> anyway we got our thing it looked like a lot of stuff a lot of good stuff what is that unknown enemy what do you mean unknown enemy well we got to check that out that that is intriguing to me i've never seen something on the map like that what huh oh I simply must know, okay? It's it's very close. Is it dead? Ecologist. Burr. Uh, what? I have never seen anything like this. Apparently, uh, it just, it's not a good thing to even be around. Very strange. 
Oh, that was the thing I was supposed to kill, apparently. Um, yeah, I, I'm sorry for my, like, lack of commentary. I'm just, like, so boggled by all of that. What in the world was that? Chimera horn, Psydog fur. I'm good. I'm good on all of that. You will remember me for what I did for them today. I gained more trust among loners and clear sky. Oh. I think that was a message meant for me. There's some stashes in the, the Dark Valley. It would be kind of neat to check out the Dark Valley, although it does spook me a little bit. Um... I would like to go to, um, Corden. So let's, let's do that real quick. I'm probably going to end the episode soon-ish. I want to hand in, um, our quest and get a couple of things and maybe we could buy something. I mean, I'm making pretty good money right now. Um, I think we're up to like 60 or 70,000, uh, rubles. So like, I don't know, we could look, at least look like Cedarvik has really good variety of stuff so we could make plans for like what kind of weaponry or like what kind of armor do we actually want to like get in the future but i'll throw a quick pause in here is that it was very quick it was like a second after i said it all right um let's go hand in our quest oh yeah we, we are hungry we're gonna want to eat some food smoke sausage Let's, uh, let's eat... Oh, moderately toxic. Okay. Let's eat our, our not horribly toxic food. Mm. I watched a stalker shooting at a fracture in Cordon, east of the farm. Um, I don't have any water. Or, oh no, sorry, I do have some water. Because I actually collected it from my stash, which was the an actual intended purpose of that stash it's really good when things work out you know like when you actually start to play like you know almost role play like a stalker then things start to work out you know cedravik supplies thank you uh is there any work you want done contract killer bandit in the truck cemetery well we do have to go to the truck cemetery at some point sure is there any work you want done Business patches, sure. Job is done, here you go. Coordinates for a stash, great. Uh, any work you want done? No. What can you tell me here? I don't know, this is gonna tell me something. I I guess about a stash or something, I don't know. Um, so, I don't know, what do we want? I wouldn't mind even having like better magazines for our go-to rifle. I'm not seeing any suppressors. We could get some uh, tactical suit. Yeah, we have like 80,000 rubles. So like definitely I would consider buying like a really nice armor. Tactical suit. There's a sunset tactical suit. I might just like go by price. Like what is that? 69,000? 93,000. Does not offer a lot in terms of ballistic resistance or at least extra in terms of ballistic resistance. It's like plus 4%. But it does offer some resistances to other things, which is nice. And then there's this black leather jacket, which is not necessarily better. Um, sunrise stalker suit. What are we currently using? Oh, this says like very low ballistic resistance. So yeah, I might consider a sunset tactical. The only other thing is going to be this universal protection thing. Faction bandit. I don't know. I, I know it's silly to be off put by that, but and then this is like 54 radiation resistance Versus 30% so this is a better helmet for sure This offers uh, ballistic resistance it wouldn't be a terrible idea to carry two different helmets for different intended purposes so like this one we would wear when we're going into combat and then uh, you know, the one we're currently wearing is still very good, uh, radiation resistance. But, um, I don't think I can really afford to do something like that right now. It might be worth buying the helmet as a, you know, just to start. I'm pretty close to being able to afford this universal protection. 
I, I don't think I like could, could sell my stuff right now to, to make it there, but upgrade kit for APS pistol. That's not really great. ZF scope. I think I pulled that off of someone's gun. What is this? Scavenger's junk box. We definitely want to open that up, so I'll have to go to my farm to get my lock picks. Um, okay, well, we're, we're seeing, at least we have some kind of goal here. I think that I would like to get this armor. I think having some better armor would definitely be a good idea. I wouldn't mind looking at a new gun. This SKS Molot looks appealing to me, mostly because I love me an SKS, but it's back to 762.39. I really do like that this uses uh, 556 because the 556 is much easier to come by. Um, wondering, does it show? If I hover over it, does it show what kind of ammo it uses? This uses 556 ADAR. I've come across an ADAR before. The damage isn't great. The handling and accuracy, though, however, is pretty good. Versus this. No, the, the handling and accuracy is actually much better on this sniper. Fire rate is not as good. Um, but the one thing is I think that this one would probably... Yeah, it looks like it accepts other scopes. If I could find an ADAR... I've, I've come across this gun a couple of times in the field. If I come across this gun again, I'll pick it up and, and maybe start repairing it. Because um, being able to put a different scope on it would make it appealing to me. And I'm sure that part of the accuracy and handling of my current weapon is due to the fact that I've upgraded it a couple of times. AK-47. There, there's, this is an actual AK-47. I didn't realize that they were in the game. Okay. So this one would take a grenade launcher. That's pretty great, actually. Um... And then we have various SKS. I do love me an SKS, but I I feel like I'm I'm over it a little bit um, because of the cost of the ammunition. Basically, we don't have any other magazines. So yeah, I think my next natural gun is gonna be this ADAR. And in fact, I'm gonna if I have my pen around. It looks like my pen is lost to the ether i was gonna write it down but it looks like i don't have a pen um i'll see if i can't remember the adar uh and that'll be like our our basic weapon this thing here uses what oh 545 as well 39 okay 39 so this uses 39 and then this the adar uses 45 so they're two different ammo types so they would not share ammo um in a way that's kind of a pain I don't know what we would use, what I would like to upgrade our shotgun, or like, from our shotgun. I think we do eventually want to get a, uh, an exosuit. Le me, personally, since I'm not really making use of, like, um, like, NPCs to help me in combat, I think I'll probably en end up getting a mech suit, or exosuit. Um, alright, so, you know... I, we didn't necessarily accomplish a lot, but, um, you know, we're, we're making slow progress. I think it's, it's worthwhile. We're, we're, we're able to accomplish some quests. We, we saw something bizarre, uh, saw a mutant I've never seen before, which is kind of spooky in a way. I've got a bunch of stuff. I've got some, uh, box, a box here that I need to open up. So I'll have to, I'll do that in my own time. Uh, sorry, maybe like you would like to see stuff like that. But um, I figure I'll get all the inventory management and stuff out of the way between episodes. And that way it's just me in the zone and, and there's still, you know, progress is being made. But for the most part, um, like it's, it's a lot of just consolidation. So yeah, you miss like me opening up a box and me making ammo for the first time, but also you miss me, uh, you know, breaking down a bunch of stuff and running back and forward from my stash and uh, to the vice in order to try and upgrade my gun, like an incremental amount. So uh, I don't know, maybe let me know in the comments. I mean, like I say, if this series takes off, I'm open to doing um, other iterations of Stalker in, in various different formats. 
But anyway, if you're enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.